That's how the sausage is made. There we go. Oh, what happened to your image? There we go. Lovely. Well, that, that's the way. That's the way the camera. Most of these are from web cameras uh -huh. from uh, from Mexico Mexican resorts, and they've actually pushed the camera down so they wouldn't see the full thing. Okay. Uh, you're seeing a reddish moon up in the sky that has gotten larger and larger and larger over the last couple of weeks. People are starting to see this all around the planet. Huh, okay. Up in Switzerland, down in Mexico. Uh, my friend Dawn, uh, Dawn Hull, she had it up in up by Seattle, Washington. She caught an excellent photograph showing it. This, to the ancients, is called the Destroyer. The Hopi people here in the United okay. States call it, yeah, it's the... The uh, you can see a reddish looking thing in that that one uh, image right there. Are you talking about this um, area here? Yes. That's okay. being seen more down Mexico. They don't have all the chemtrails flying over like we here in North America or Canada. Um, that other image that you show. Uh, this one lady, she uh, took the photographs, then she enhanced them to show in the background. Oh, because okay. a lot of these images are taken at nighttime, and if you don't enhance the photographs, you won't be able to see exactly what it is. Now, when you say this, enhance, they're not enhancing to make something appear there that's not really there, though, right? It's not being no. photoshopped in. Not photoshopped in, not any of these photographs. Okay. Uh, they're enhancing it where it stands out more. Okay. In the background. Uh, this one here didn't have any enhancement at all. You just see this big reddish mass okay. being seen in the skies over Mexico. All right. You want me to go to the and next trying, one? Or? Yeah, if you could, yes. Okay, hang on a second here. I'll clear that, and then uh, we'll go ahead and go to the next one. All right. Oops. Now, this one, you can see it just down over to the left. It's been highlighted with a filter right there. Oh, let me uh, try that again. Sure. So you're talking about in this area? That one area right there, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the, the same whole, lady, same camera, or no? A uh, different. P uh, that one's from a a Mexican webcam over a Mexican resort, and mm -hmm. she's taken the photographs and she's enhanced them with filters to show the thing that's being seen. Do you have any idea what that is right there? Right where where, where, where my you arrows put pointing. Oh, I'm sorry. It was just right above it, right there. Yeah. yeah. That, yeah. that one circle right there. I'm sorry. Yeah. It kind of almost looks like a UFO, is, but it, um, it must be a building or something, right? Or... No, it's it's actually a moon. Oh, a moon. Okay. And it's not our moon. What? Okay. Yes. Since 2015, we have seen, or people around the world have seen full or four of Nibiru's moons. Mm -hmm. Nibiru orbits between Jupiter and Mars. Its moons come all the way into our orbit when it's coming through, believe it or not. Huh. Uh, the first one was caught April 10th, 2015. These were caught just re One was caught twice, once over Hawaii, then over Mexico, actually Cancun, Mexico, and southern Texas. Seems like uh, we're having some uh, jumping issues with the uh, video on uh, your Skype. Bit. Not exactly yeah. sure why. Yeah, but it's, it's sitting in one spot. Uh, the wind has been pretty uh, pretty picking up lately out here again. Oh, you know, okay. Uh, the problem is, is that sky is that um, Nibiru orbits clockwise through our solar system. It's on its way out now. 
Okay. The Earth is orbiting counterclockwise right towards it. Okay. So we're seeing these moons in our skies. It's that red, uh, the, the next one back. The next uh, slide back? Yes, that big reddish mass. Okay, hang on a second. Some Oh, sorry, I got to... I gotta disable right. one thing to do another thing. <laughs> there no we go. No problem. So you're talking about this that, one? Yes, that big reddish mass right. that was seen by the Egyptians during the Exodus, 1627 BC. Okay. I'm trying to. I'm trying to Hold get it. better at A my despair. whiteboard tool here. <laughs> I understand. That's the thing we really have to track and we have to watch out for. That thing is showing itself more and more in our skies. Now, the bad thing is, is that neither the Chinese accounts nor the Egyptian accounts tell they saw it from this time to this time. They just said they saw it. Uh, Ippawur, an Egyptian scribe, said he called it omens, meaning warnings in their skies. And then it was upon them. Uh, and it kicked the heck out of Egypt and uh, around our planet during them. Sounds like uh, we're having more and more problems with your audio. Let's um, let's try and get through these. If it's getting windier and windier in your area, then we're going to want to try and get through this quicker sure. so we don't lose everybody. So let me go ahead and get to our next slide. There's the moon right there on top. Okay. That moon actually has stripes on it. And that's the, first, that's the moon we first saw on April 10th, 2015 over Antarctica. Okay. Then South Carolina then Denver, and several other places. So that moon we don't have to worry about, okay. I think. Well, that's good but to know. each of these moons has its own gravitation, gravitation and electromagnetic pull on the Earth. Well, so what they're doing to our planet, we're seeing all kinds of weird weather. We're seeing these heavy winds that happened uh that that one huge cruise ship that just got back to the east coast today it was hit by 100 mile an hour winds and wow. 30 foot waves oh my gosh and the captain had a hard time keeping it under control now that one right there yeah if you can look right down right there in the middle uh-huh that big reddish circle right there Oops, a little bit hold further on. down yeah hold on a second for some there it goes yeah i see it let me uh go ahead and try and draw i think this one was caught over switzerland okay that is the destroyer or it has a reddish tinge to it right there that's the big problem each time that thing came through and showed it's uh, the earth experienced a pole shift anyone who's watched the movie 2012 knows near the end of the chinese monk up on his monastery and he turns around and here comes the waves coming over the chinese that was from emperor yao okay. 2900 bce oh okay then Noah's flood happened about 12,900 years ago. That was another pole shift. And then there was a pole shift during the Exodus, which was 3,640 something years ago. Wow, okay. NASA imaged all this stuff in 2007, 2008, and I have the leaked information and the images. I think we did a show about that earlier, didn't we? Or We've is that done a different? We, we've done a couple of shows about yeah. it, yes. Yeah. So people so, can go to the main CosmicCafeShow.com and look at some of Bob's previous episodes uh, from the, the actual TV show portion where he goes into detail on that. He's been on uh, both in Season 1 and Season 2 now. 
And uh, so, yeah, that way you can see, get caught up to speed if you want or do a little more research and uh, learn more, as much as you can from Bob. Well, let's uh, let's see if we can, uh, while we still got your internet and everything, seems like we're always internet challenged with you, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe the powers that be just want to play around because they, they 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 know where to find me. They uh, they've actually turned off my phone several times talking to other people. Is this uh, the same picture? Wait a second. It's same picture. Yeah, yeah. Well, it looks like I got it twice. Or is there a reason for that? Did you accidentally? I might it? have sent it twice. I'm not sure. Okay, let let's mosey it. This is definitely different. There you go. In that image. On the left-hand side, that is from Washington State. From my friend Don Don Hall. Washington State, Don Hall. That, her, Hall her name's right there on the on the picture. Oh, okay. She's one of my friends on Facebook. That big orange thing on the left-hand side, right there. That's yeah. that same moon. So are you talking about the image that's right here? Yes, sir. Right there. Okay. It's grow. It's getting larger and larger in our oh. skies. Oh, okay. And that's from February seventh, two thousand sixteen. Okay. Okay. These uh, images, just so uh, the audience knows, will be posted on the Daily Specials Recap, which will be out in your email box tomorrow morning if you're a free subscriber. If you're currently not a free subscriber, make sure you get over to CosmicCafeShow.com. And over there on the left-hand side, just pop in your email. And don't forget to um, approve it. It's uh, one of those double things, so that way it helps to protect from spam and all that good stuff. So just uh, approve the email and you're subscribed and you'll get it tomorrow morning. Isn't yeah. that right, Bob? And I should, Actually, uh, looks no, like Jim, nobody's uh, still no good you, questions. Say, uh, we have shy people. Sorry. I was going to say we have shy people for the chat room. So if you do have questions Go for on. Bob, uh, you know, feel yeah. free to get over to our chat room, ccs.chat or cosmiccafeshow.com forward slash chat. And you can join in. It's absolutely free. You don't have to register. You don't even have to use your real name. Isn't that exciting? We can have anonymous chatters <laughs> ask anonymous questions. Now, so, now, 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 to tell you, Don Hull has a very, very expensive camera. Okay. Her camera can also take photographs in the infrared. So she doesn't just have a simple camera taking these photographs. Now this photo looks like it's been enhanced as far as the no. color and stuff. No, I no. asked her about that earlier. Those were red clouds going over when she took the photograph. Let's see, she took it at 5 p.m. on February 7th in the evening, so just before sunset. Wow. And that big orange thing stands out. So there's, you know, I'm sorry. That's it right there. Yeah, I'm just having, I'm having difficulty seeing it, but maybe it's the low resolution. Like I said, I'll have these. And also, uh, you can go on Bob's, you have these posts on your Facebook now? Or uh, you... Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, that, that one picture there is right on my Facebook top cover. Oh, so okay. when you go to my Facebook, you'll see that right there. Yeah, it's a gorgeous picture. Um, so yes. yeah, you can even go tonight and he's got them all up there on his Facebook. I'll make sure I put a post, uh, a link to your Facebook and a link to your, um, uh, starships around the sun.com. Correct. Your, uh, yes. website. Yeah. So we'll make sure those are up there as well. in that daily shows recap. <laughs> okay. Let's get on to the next photo. Oh, let me go ahead and first of all, uh, clear the screen here and... I think I need to undo that. Okay. I gotta talk to these software developers, see if they can make it a little, a little bit easier for us to switch back and forth. Now, this is an interesting photograph. Okay. It's taken right near sunset, and there's our sun, but there's something right there that's being partially hidden. A lot of people are just starting to see that now. 
where this thing is right there in the sky, but they can't clearly see what the heck it is. Hmm. That's either being done by the chemtrails or by the Anunnaki themselves. Hmm. Because no one wants everyone to panic. And I surely do not want anyone to panic when they see this stuff. I want them to uh, panic. We're all going to die! <laughs> I want them to be prepared. Uh, because if you're prepared, there's no time for panic. I'm not panicked. Okay, okay, good. Now, that was seen just like that, and then she enhanced the photograph, and that's the next image. Now, who took this one? Uh, I forgot. I forgot to give you the person's name. Uh, all these photographs are on my Facebook page. Oh, cool. Robert H. Evans Jr. Right, right. Yeah, and you're all. You, a lot of your stuff's also reposted on my uh, Facebook page, Cosmic Cafe Show. So, yes. Um, all right. Well, let's uh, get to the. Let's get to the and, next and, photo. And if you really look at that one photograph, that thing is massive. It is, but. Our I'll be son honest, is big looked, enough. I'll be honest. Uh, I know a lot of critics out there would say that was clearly photoshopped in. It it just has that look about it, it like it was photoshopped. It looks in. nice and clear to me. The next one clearly shows it right there. Okay. The sun is just below it. So oh. They reversed the image, showing that it's real. It's not sun flare. It's not Photoshop. Yeah. It's right there. Well, so that I, image is very real. This one I have trouble with, I'll be honest. I, and I'm sure some viewers out no there problem. are going to say the same thing. So I just, you know, this one I, I don't find quite as compelling as some of the others you've shared. But, um, you know, it, 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 you know, I'm not an expert either. So now this one's interesting for sure. Are we back to oh, the beginning? We're not back yeah. to the beginning, right? No. This one you can clearly see. Did we lose Bob's Skype? Uh-oh. Bob's the internet connection is having troubles. Oh, boy. Poor Bob. I think... Yeah. yeah you're coming back. Well, the power is... Or it's just getting windier and windier in uh, Pacifica. Uh, maybe we just try going to your audio only feed for the last few slides here. Okay, so we turn off the video? Yeah, try turning off the video for the time being. And that way our viewers, at least you can talk to it. You can still okay. see the screen, correct? Oh, yes. I can see the screen you have up here. Okay, good. So um yeah so unfortunately bob's having problems with his internet connection um but anyways with with that said we have uh this last the one of these last slides here and you can clearly see more of an orange now this to me definitely is much more compelling than the previous slide i'm just trying to keep it real and keep it honest okay uh, try and go to the next one okay so let's go to the next one which would be here. There okay. you go. Yeah, so. It's a very large. Seeing, seeing the red, difference there. Yes. Very large red object. Yeah. It, does, it doesn't have the. It doesn't look like the other moon we saw over Mexico. This one has a very clear red, reddish hue to it. Now I got a question for you, Bob. Do you Go ahead. Uh, do you enhance these photos yourself, or no. do you always let them do it? I let everyone hands the photographs to me. Uh huh. So, since they did, and they post all these photographs on Facebook, I in turn share all these photographs onto my Facebook page. Okay. Now, like I said earlier, I have a lot of people who are watching everything I do. Well, of and course. if they could find anything that looked photoshopped or lens flare, they immediately say so. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, somebody in the chat room actually just we have we do have somebody in the chat room now, and they did ask that question. So, yeah, yeah. So. If you can go to the next image, you'll see it. You'll see clearly again. Okay, it's now, still there. See, even though it's, if you go to the next one, boom, right there. Yeah. Now let me ask you: Do you have uh, your own software where, um, if somebody uh, were to send you raw photos that they just snapped in their camera, uh, could they send them to you and a and then you would do the analysis? Nope. In no analysis? way. Huh? I I am a computer nerd. I Is mean it? that very clearly. I am a nerd. Uh huh. I do not know how to use Photoshop. I've tried several times. I tried to have someone teach me, uh -huh. and the person was up. Okay, uh -huh. so I don't even have the program on my computer. Oh, okay. I have no way at all to change any of these photographs. Okay, okay. So, but I mean, uh, you, I, I. Uh, I guess the question uh, to be more clear is is um, not these photographs, but if somebody wanted you to do the analysis work, do you help like provide independent verification that no. uh, you know some somebody may take a picture and they go, wow, I see an I see something in there. I can't quite understand what it is. Could they send it to you and ask you to help them verify whether it maybe is Planet Nibiru or just a simple lens flare? I can or, try to. Uh, uh, I whatever. can send them to Don Ho. She has all that certain software. Oh. And she's actually said, yes, this looks like lens flare. This one is not. Okay. Uh, and she will say some, something else is in there. Okay. And I have other people I can do that. But I, I do not know how to do these things. And I will not falsify any of these photographs. Well, no, to no, any no of we're not talking listeners. about falsifying. We're talking about you know, trying to help people get to the bottom of it. If they, if they took a picture and, you know, they maybe uh, somebody watched this show and maybe they're watching the replay or something at some time down the road and they go, wow, I think I did snap something on my smartphone or on my, you know, whatever camera. I can try. And, and, uh, I can try. And so they can get in touch with you through the Facebook page and then maybe you direct them to Don or one of the other experts that you work with that could help sure. them. Sure, exactly. That's what I was getting at, Yeah. <laughs> Now, if I thought you were falsifying all these bobs, you wouldn't be on the show. And I appreciate that. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, uh, I've, I've known you for a couple of years now, so uh, I know you don't falsify. So I just was trying to make sure that was clear to the audience. That that was that early picture we started off with. Yeah. Still that big reddish mass. And I guess explaining this, this is more like a reverse image or something that they use to help enhance. To, to it, determine whether there's something there or not? Is that what it is? It looks to me like it was just enhanced, showing it to come up out of the background, showing it was real instead of nothing. So that's just an enhancement. Kind of like a kind of like a negative image, but then colorized or something to help. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Okay. That's too bad we lost your... Oh, I think we're back to the very beginning now. So, yeah, it's yes. too bad we lost your video there. That really stinks. Well, let me try to see if it's back on. Hold on. All right. Let's see. Let's see. What do we got? Anything? It's uh, it's spooling. It's, it's, it's circling, circling, circling. I got to find Bob. <laughs> it's, coming, it's coming through. There we there go. There we go. No, uh, those images, they're getting my friends. And believe me, I've had a lot of friend requests after each one of these shows. Oh, good. My friends that have been actually doing, seeing this stuff in their own skies are saying, look at this. I took this on certain dates. You know, uh, blah, blah, blah. So more and more people are being driven to look for this. Um, because I've also been on several radio shows other than uh, your show here. Uh, some people have actually saw, saw me on your show and say, hey, Bob, I want you on my show. <laughs> oh, shit. And uh, I was in contact with one lady today. We spent two hours on the telephone, believe it or not. 
where she had certain information that I, I verified. And then I had a lot more information than she had. And, okay, we're going to do two shows. One next, not this Friday, but next Friday. Uh-huh. And then after that. Oh, she, and then Rex she has Bear. a radio program? or Yes, yeah, she has a radio show. Oh, great. Uh, then Rex Bear, which had me on his radio show for uh, two hours and a half. He said he wants me on there on the 23rd of this month. Wow. Yeah. Have, uh, have you been on Lori and Fenton's show yet? No. Oh, okay. You know, she was on here on the Cosmic Cafe and then... That same it was about two two Wednesdays ago, and I went then after uh, she was on my program, I went on her program for a half hour. Oh, great! So she does the um, uh, California MUFON radio through uh, Inception Radio Network. So most of the MUFON people have said I'm posting garbage. Okay, well, I, I guess everybody's entitled so, to their opinion, and, and exactly. Uh, but I mean, it's not, it's people not like pe- a... people could just as easily say the same thing about UFO photos, you know? Exactly, and they have so... until they physically see it, and that's where I'm coming from with this stuff. Is that people that are my friends on Facebook yeah. are seeing this stuff or have seen this stuff in their own skies? Why they they heard about me and they've heard the shows, your show here with Cosmic Cafe, other shows where I was on. And I was like, I wasn't lying. See, he sees it. He's got <laughs> photographs of it. Yes. You know, I'm not an expert uh, uh, person on this. I have researched the holy heck out of this, going all the way back to what was in the Colburn Bible and all the books. I'm the only one showing the photographs. So while all the other experts have name recognition, and they have their own contacts, they're not showing the photographs. I am. That's because so we're, we're independent, my friend. We we can do what we want. <laughs> we don't have some yes. big corporation that's paying us to say or not say whatever. So and that's a good reason why you should donate. Donate to me, I donate like to Bob. You should sure want you. Say that yeah, again? Yeah, I should donate, yes. Oh well, Say that yeah, again? you know the, the powers that be. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, I like your show. I like you, and you you like me because I'm I'm honest with the people. Absolutely. Uh, as far as honestly as I can. Um, the powers that be, they know this has has been coming. They don't want this stuff to be put out. Or right now, they're probably he's already too late. No one's really listening to him. He's not getting the coverage he normally should if he was on all the big, fancy, big shows. Uh, but you, your listeners, are listening to this. You're seeing the photographs, and more, more people are starting to find out. Yeah. Speaking of uh, which, um, uh, I was just thinking uh, it's worthy of mentioning your website, starshipsaroundthesun.com. You have yes. some really compelling photos on there from ancient, uh, was it Samaria, uh, ancient Iraq, that in Kate, uh, ancient artwork well, that was showing well, like the... Um, the Ahura Mazda, yes. uh, which the Zoroastrian, Zoroastrian religion, which yes. is in Iran... They carved huge carvings of this big bird stretched wings. Yes. Unfortunately, if you really look at it, you see it doesn't have feet. It has two poles going down to round looking things. Looks like, like wheels. Or like landing and, uh, pads. Landing gear. Landing gear. Now, what made me look for that was a photograph from NASA, from the SOHO satellite from the extreme ultraviolet camera EIT-304 in 2005. Yeah. Here's this thing coming down the left-hand side of our sun, trailing what looks drive plasma. Right. That one object was an exact match with these 2,000-year-more carvings that the Zoroastrian religion carved. Yeah. And there's no way 
you cannot say they're not the same thing. Oh yeah. Uh, you the gotta, filmmaker... You gotta go to Bob's website and check it out. It's it's amazing. And he also on his first episode with us with at the Cosmic Cafe, and I think also you showed a brief part of it on the sec in season two. Yes. Um so it, he shows us on the Cosmic Cafe shows so go there, but also just go to Bob's website, Starships Around the Sun dot com. You'll see those. It's very, very compelling, and it really makes you know that uh, something happened. And then we had that report here on the Daily Special show just a couple of days ago where we were showing the um, ancient, uh, was it Greek, uh, architecture and drawings that uh, showed them holding what looked like a laptop. And they were saying, you know, was oh, this because yes. of time travel? And so I've, I've seen that thing. Oh God! Oh no! That's nothing but a, a perfume box. He's opening in front of the lady. I've heard that that part. Well, there's uh, not just one. That's not just that one statue. There's other drawings and stuff. There's others. Yes. That uh, that article. If they got the daily specials recap in their email box, they could have clicked on the article link and gone and see all the photos that were in that article. And 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 then just recently, I think it's over there in what used to be Yugoslavia, or over there somewhere, they found something that looks just like a smartphone, but several, several, several thousand years old. Yes, yes, I think uh, I think I remember covering that on the co on the daily specials. <laughs> was it back in December? I think maybe. So yeah. it was somewhere around there, yeah, or uh, just a month or well, we're in February, so yeah, right around December. That yeah, is December, yeah. Now yeah. the Anunnaki are still here. Oh, yeah. I mean, they came here for the gold to help their planet Nibiru. Yep. And they need the gold because every time it swings in and around our sun, our sun rips holes in their atmosphere. That's yep. where they put the gold dust. Yeah. So they have to have the gold dust. There's no more gold on their planet. Uh, that was perfectly... Uh, mentioned in all of Zachariah Sitchin's books, including the Lost Book of Enki. Uh, so, I think the last time you were on here, we talked about that, and we also kind of said it almost like a um, sunglasses for the planet. You know, it kind of makes exactly. a reflective property, so it kind of helps to protect the planet from the harsh the extreme sun radiation, radiation from the sun, uh, because their sun is a brown dwarf star that. Has in 2007, uh, we have a brown dwarf star with seven planets orbiting around our solar system. Yeah. Uh, NASA knows that. Uh, the Anunnaki need the gold. That's why they came here originally about 450,000 years ago. And they're not going to leave because they need the gold. Just like every time we send a space probe up in a rocket, they all have gold around parts of the space probe the Absolutely. gold keeps the electronics working because well, just it, the uh, gold on the um, astronauts face masks it Why keeps do you think they're the, gold exactly it keeps the radiation and and all that stuff out yeah uh and that's why we uh, through the holy bible we have the watchers yeah they talk about the watchers they're watching us because yeah. they're they've they're allowing us to evolve. We got about uh, three minutes to the top of the hour, so no we'll leave it for the next time when uh, you come back. We'll definitely have, have you back in a week or two. I'll have for more sure. photos. You know that. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, I'm sure people will be excited to see you. And I'm, uh, you know, too bad uh, we had we didn't get more people in the chat room this time. But it's new. The chat room's new, so. Uh, hopefully by the next time we have you on, we'll have a few more people in there and uh, with extra questions for you. But I did want to quickly mention that since you brought up the Anunnaki, we have released the uh, first in uh, two-part series uh, to our TV stations, uh, the 65 TV stations nationwide. They're currently broadcasting Anunnaki. Um Excellent. What was the title? I forget what the title is now. Uh, are they our ancient aliens, the Anunnaki? Yes, and it's a two-part series featuring our um, our great friends Janet and Dr. Sasha Lesson, who are experts on the Anunnaki. And, yes, they uh, are. So the second episode will be released to our TV stations later this month. 
So like I said, it's a two-part series. Uh, if, uh, if you have a, uh, you can check the CosmicCafeShow.com, click on the stations link there, the menu item, and find the local station that's carrying it. If the, your local station is not carrying it, you can contact your local peg station and tell them, hey, carry the Cosmic Cafe show. I want to yes. see this. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they'll, they can uh, broadcast it for free. So that's our public service to the community. It's all free to the public access stations, and it's all commercial free for them. So that's why we love your donations, because it helps keep everything free, free, free. All right, well... Yes. Bob, hang on there a moment. I need to wrap this thing up and get people out of here by 7 o'clock, and i got about a minute to do it. So let me go ahead and get over here to our social media links and everything. Thanks again for tuning in to the Cosmic Cafe Show. I super-duper appreciate it. And I hope you've enjoyed our visit with Bob Evans, who stopped by. And hopefully um, you've enjoyed stopping by the Cosmic Cafe, whether you caught us live, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Or you're catching one of the replays. Uh, I definitely love all of you that have catch us on the replay. Thank you so much for viewing. And hopefully one of these times, you know, everybody has busy schedules and there's a lot going on. So hopefully you get a chance to uh, um, tell your friends about us and share us on your social media. We'd super appreciate that. And one of these times, maybe catch us in chat. And I guess that's about all I can stammer and stay tomorrow. Coming up tomorrow <laughs> night, I have... Yes, for the first time on the Daily Specials, super awesome guy, Bob Schroeder. Yes, he is an expert on physics and math, and he uh, and he has written a couple of books, one in particular about um, how UFOs work. I forget the exact title. He's He was on, a guest on my TV show in the first season, and so you can go and watch his episode in season one of the Cosmic Cafe show. Uh, check out his bio on the website as well. You can buy his book through Amazon. But he's going to be here tomorrow night. He's talking about the physics behind what makes UFOs possible. And believe it or not, friends, it is possible that UFOs actually can exist. The physics, the math, it's all there. And Bob makes right. it pretty easy for us to understand. So he's going to be here tomorrow night. That's Thursday night, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. And then back again Friday we'll have Jeff Kraus with MUFON, state director, and he also covers Southern California. He's also a field investigator, and he's got some great MUFON stuff for us. So with that said, thank you so much for tuning in. You have yourself a wonderful evening, and we will catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Oops, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you a chance to wave bye-bye. <laughs>